Hi guys, this is Henry Pym again with yet another review. This time it's a silver server sculpted by Randy Bowen himself. Uh, this is a 2008 statue. It's a relatively high number. It's uh, 3113 of three and a half thousand. So it's uh, it's a high number uh, for a high, relatively high volume action statue. Uh, but you can imagine why. I mean, the Silver Server is a very popular character. It's always been a very popular character, and you know, a lot of people tend to appreciate him. Um, I had the option. No, let's just put it this way. I have one statue per character rule, uh, which I intend to, you know, top keep. Um, because, you know, otherwise I'd have four Hulks or five Hulks and, you know, four Silver Servers and stuff like that. And I don't have the space for that. So I have to make decisions and it's a decision I made, you know, from the, from the get-go. Um, I had to make a choice between, well, I, I had to choose between the, uh, the Museum Post Silver Server and its action statue. And I chose this one. Two reasons. First off, being that I'll be very honest, I'll be very straight with you guys, this was the much cheaper of the two. But the most important and foremost reason for me, I just liked and I love this pose. Um, and when it comes down to you know a character like the Silver Server, I mean, don't get me wrong, but the Silver Server is basically a silver guy. I mean, when you look at the sculpt, you know, and look at the character itself, it's a bald guy. Uh, with shiny silver skin, that's it. Standing on a silver, you know, silver server surfboard. So there's not m not much you can do uh, when it comes to a museum statue. Now, looked at the Bowie museum statue, and I, I thought to myself, it's a good statue, but I'm not, you know, I'm not like I need to get it. And you you have to understand, I am a big cosmic, you know, uh, comic book hero fan. I mean. I've got them. I've got them all. I've got everything from Thanos th uh, to uh, um, you know Silver Server, uh, everything that is cosmically related. I've I've got the Space Punisher storyline. Uh, I've got the uh, new uni universe, the new universe books. You know the the new line that uh, Marvel Comics started back in the eighties, eighties, and it totally flopped. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. I'll save that for another time. Um, and, uh, the Annihilation Saga. I have about every you know, cosmic uh, storyline and, and, and cosmic character there is, you know, Quasar, Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Crusade, um, stuff like that. I have, I have it all, you know, and I, I want to collect all the cosmic storylines because, you know, I just love space travel and, you know, this combines my favorite thing, you know, my Marvel, you know, comic book characters with, co you know, cosmic storylines. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with that. Not in my book. So, um, so I, I love Silver Surfer. I, I really love. He's one of my favorite characters. You know, um, I love all the Heralds of Galactus. I mean, I, you, you probably seen my in one of my old reviews. I have a Terex as well. Um, I'm waiting for Bowen to create a Fire Lord. Uh, you know, full statue, full size statue. Um, also for uh, you know, Gabriel Airwalker, and. Um, you know, if they do that, I'll be a very happy camper. But oh, and, and Frankie Nova, you know, should make a full size statue out of her as well. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know, going to go the mini bust route again. I mean, I used to collect mini busts before I collected full size statues, and I quit that, you know, a couple of years, well, a lot of years ago actually. Uh, I've only picked up, you know, collecting uh, Bowen and, and full size statues uh, about, you're not going to believe this, but about four or five months ago. So, yeah, I've been going, uh, you know, I've, I've been catching up. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, but, you know, back to the statue. Um, um, this is a very, very good depiction of the Silver Server. I love the face sculpt on this. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a cross between the Ron Lim depiction. I mean, you know, you, you have to understand that I know the Silver Server from the Ron Lim run. Um, it's, I think, a hundred and hundred or so, you know, comic book run. Uh, I have it from one to a hundred. Um, you know, it's enough for me because I think that's when Ron Lim quit, and you know, uh, uh, doing the art for the comic book. Uh, but Ron Lim does a very good cosmic, you know, comic book 
you know, and he's done the Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Crusade, and stuff like that. He does an epic Thanos, an epic um, Silver Server. So, you know, that's my favorite artist for the Silver Server. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna, going to say, yeah, what, what about, you know, Jack, uh, Jack Kirby? But um, I didn't grow up with Jack Kirby. So, you know, I'm a bit biased because uh, I grew up with Ron Lim. You know, that's my era. And I still think he's one of the best artists out there, you know. So that's basically how I think. I think that, you know, for the new server server comic, they're going to use Mike Allred, who uh, drew the, um, oh God, what was it called? Madman series? Yeah, Madman and Ecstatics. Um, a very different take on the Silver Server, more reminiscent of Jack Kirby. So if you're more into the more classic kind of style, of Jack Kirby, you should really pick it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up, but who knows, you know. I, I mean, I have to collect any, everything, co you know, cosmic uh, related. Um, back to the statue itself. You know, um, the sculpt itself is, let's just flip it around here. I mean, you can see that a lot of the, you know, attention and detail went to the, into this. And this is the regular painted version. I'm not sure if there's a chrome version of this as well. But I don't, yeah, I didn't want the chrome version. If there was a chrome version, I'd still pick this up because this is a better depiction of uh, Silver Server, uh, in my opinion. I love what they did with the eyes, by the way. Um, really nice contrast in the eyes. You know, white eyes, I'm not sure if you guys can see that because my flash, my camera, my flash, my camera flash is kind of reflecting off his skin but you can see white eyes with black lines around it you know to highlight his eyes so it's not just white dots but you know very very well accentuated um the sculpt itself done very well the pose itself very dynamic let's just put it you know before a white background so you guys can see i mean you can see the posture i mean i love it and uh very dynamic poses as i said very clean uh, sculpt, uh, very good head, head sculpt. I mean, this is the silver server for me uh, when I look at this. You know, very, 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 very good sculpt by Randy Bowen himself. The surfboard itself um, is done very well as well. It's a very large piece, by the way. Well, wide piece uh, because of the surfboard. The surfboard itself, I think, is made out of uh, some kind of plastic. Uh, you know, coated, and the silver server is actually attached to the board, so it's one piece, and it's a very, you know, solid construction. I mean, this is all very solid construction, so you won't have to be afraid about the statue falling or, you know, uh, him not being uh, connected, you know, well enough to the base. I think they did a very good job on a structural level, and... As I said, this is the best depiction, you know, for me of the Silver Server. In the back there, I have Silver Server number 24, volume 2, I believe. Um, the cover drawn by Ron Lim. Not one of his best covers, but, you know, I wanted a cover that depicted him, you know, on a surfboard, on his surfboard. And this was the one I could find, you know, the quickest. I mean, it's not a very specific or special storyline for me. Um... But the whole run is, is a good run. Um, you know, he encounters guys like Blastar and Terex, and I believe Fire Lord and Gabriel Airwalker. I mean, uh, with the Terex comic, uh, T Terex statue, I also showed a comic, uh, one of these issues, and that depicted all of the heralds. So, all in all, you know, if we look at the statue, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces because it's a cosmic character. Um, I'm going to post this with Galactus with Terex um, and you know some other cosmic characters. I will probably put the Fantastic Four in it because I'm going to put shelves in. I mean, uh, you know, my man Victor, he uh, it's, he's been telling me to get shelves and I've been ignoring him. Well, not ignoring him, but you know, I was a bit stubborn, so I got those display cabinets. But I have like three display cabinets now, and I I'm running out of space. I mean, they're all full. They're packed to the brim. And, you know, he's been telling me a couple of times to get shelves up. And I'm going to go and buy some shelves and put them up. 
uh, because in that way I would be, I would be able to display a whole you know set of cosmic characters with the Fantastic Four and not run out of space because in the display cabinet you can put like three statues or maybe four on one uh, shelf or, or one uh, display uh, you know and and that, that's that's not just it's it isn't it for me I mean it's just too small it's too cramped. You know, if you want to do a whole kind of diorama kind of thing. So, Vic, thank you very much for the advice. I'll show you guys how it looks when it's done, you know. I'll, I'll have to look at my own, you know, skills as a builder because I have no skills at all in that area. I mean, I'm good with computers. <laughs> I'm good with, you know, uh, with talking and stuff like that. But I'm not good with, uh, with my hands when it comes to, you know, being handy and doing handy work. But, you know, how hard can it be, right? Gulp. <laughs> um, basically, the sculpt itself, I would give a seven and a half, uh, and the paint job is well, perfect, but it's not, you know, it is not spectacular because it's you know merely one color, one shade of silver, and you know probably some shading, you know, but that's it. So uh, the paint job itself is okay. It's it's you know it's good for what it has to do, and I'd give that a seven. Uh, what would I change about this statue? Not much. Actually, I, I couldn't think of one thing to change because this is, it is what it is, you know? And it does. I know I've said it before, but it's a very functional kind of statue. It, it depicts the, the silver server the way it should. And, you know, it's a clean depiction of him. Uh, a very good depiction of him. And I, I did, you know, if you, if you don't have a silver server and you want one, and, you know, you want to get one on the cheap, you know, this one is going for real cheap, so get it, that's my advice, and I thank you very much for your time and, you know, for your attention, and please leave a comment, you know, in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day, bye-bye.